Michael Brown Swiss Show, there were 12 senior two-year-old cows. Entries 2110 through 2115 did not show. 2116 was 12th in the class and the winning junior. Red Bray Spa Cayenne Noella, exhibited by Callie and Wyatt Storms of Muscaday, Wisconsin. 2117 did not show. 2118 placed fourth. Entry 2119 was second placed in the winning bread and own. Hartman Hills Durham Charisma, exhibited by Austin Knapp and John Hartman of Epworth, Iowa. 2120 won the class and was given best outer honors. High Beam Biver Glamour, exhibited by Lookout and C. Halbach of Canton de Hatley, Quebec. 2121 did not show. Entry 2122 was fifth. 2123 did not show, nor did 2124. 2125 placed eighth. 2126 was sixth. 2127 was 11th. 2128 placed seventh. 2129 did not show. Entry 2130 placed third. Johan Yangalara Mays, exhibited by Madeline Topp of Wapakonata, Ohio. Entry 2131 placed ninth, and 2132 placed tenth, and was the production award winner. BBHP Norwin Tiana, exhibited by Vagley Farm and Hillpine Partners of Monticello, Wisconsin. The class now in the ring are junior three year old cows. The first place award and bread and oat award is presented by Royal Hill Swiss of Fort Wayne, Indiana. A production award is presented by Prairie Farms Dairy of Edwardsville, Illinois. Best out of Rosette is presented by the Cattle Connection of Amory, Wisconsin. And the junior award is presented by Dairy Agenda Today. Ladies and gentlemen, placings are complete in this Brown Swiss Junior Three-Year-Old Cow Class. Second place junior is entry 2146. She's J.G. Springs GPS Strawberry, exhibited by Emily Good of Liberty, Kentucky. 
The production award winner is entry 2143, Brook Lodge W. Fireball, exhibited by Blessing Farms and Garrison Brothers of Fort Wayne, Indiana. 2134 is third. She's Geisy Manor Richard Fauna, exhibited by Ken Main and Kenny Joe Mannion of Copake, New York. Second place in the class is entry 2149, Pit Crew Richard Pizza, exhibited by Pit Crew Genetics of Cambridge, Minnesota. And our winning entry is also the winning junior, best bred and owned, and best daughter. She's Jenlar Carter Waltz, exhibited by Brianna Meyer of Chilton, Wisconsin. Congratulations. And now to our judge for his reasons. Ladies and gentlemen, if you want to see what a second calf brown Swiss cow is supposed to look like, I think the, the cow leading out here in first is, exemplifies that. The only thing you want to change about her is her transmission. Uh, just a beautiful mammary system on this cow. You love the height with which she's got to rudder. She's got veins crawling all over it, deep seam. And then you start talking about that beautiful silky dairy frame. She's got the width up to her chest floor, long from head to tail. Just a beautiful, beautiful cow to win this class. Uh, told the young lady coming out in second, she just ran into a buzzsaw today. When you get to breaking down this second place cow, she's another no holes kind of cow. Beautiful rear udder on this cow. You love the width that she's got to that rear udder, rear udder the height and the veination. She's sharp, she's clean, she's angular. Just not that style, not that flash that our winner's got today. Uh, where she's good, the first place cow is a little bit better. But she used her advantage and memory system to go over a really pretty cow coming out in third. Just a little bit more levelness of utter floor today. Really like the side profile on this third place cow. But when you get behind her, that right side sets just a tick lower than the left side. Uh, and that's the reason she's where she's at today. But it's her definition of seam that takes her over a really silky, clean cut cow coming out in fourth. You love the dairiness on this cow. It's real sharp and wedgy over that shoulder. Just lost too much seam and definition of having uh, to get her any higher in the class for me today. But it's just that quality throughout, that clean cutness, that angularity, especially up through that head and neck, to go over a real correct cow coming out in fifth. Fifth place cow cows, another no holes kind of cow, correct about the memory system, just not quite as clean cut and maybe modern up through that head and neck region uh, to get her up any higher in the class today. But she's got a definite advantage over this real powerful cow coming out in sixth place where she's got more utter class. I uh, really think she's tighter up through that seam than this sixth place cow. Sixth place cow gives you a pretty side profile, got a lot of height and width to that rear rudder, and it is that overall capacity of mammary system that takes her over another real pretty side profiled cow coming out in seventh. Seventh place cow, real clean cut and angular, just not that boom boom to the rear rudder to get her up any higher in the class today. Congratulations on a nice class of cows.